Jared pulling Frono's photo. Dot com and this is your I'm afraid of Americans. I'm afraid of the world. Photo News Fix. This fix is brought to you by Wirestock, which is the easiest way to sell your photos, videos, and vectors online. Now here's how it works, because I've been telling you how it works for a while. You upload your photos or videos to Wirestock, they tag and keyword them for you, and distribute them for sale on the largest stock websites like Shutterstock, Adobe Stock, 123RF, Pond5, and many more. You can do all this from one single free account, no subscription fees or flat fees. When you sell something, Wirestock takes 15% and you get the rest. There's still no excuse to not at least try this out. Out. For real, go try, shoot some bugs, any bugs. I don't care what bugs they are. Shoot people making out in the park. I don't care anything because you never know. To sign up for free right now, head on over to bit.ly slash wirefro99. First up, The Impossible Project, AKA the people who've been trying to bring back Polaroid have announced a new experimental film called, is, is this right? I mean, I, I guess, Douche Chrome? Oh, there's an O in there. I, I blame my bad eyes. It's actually Duo Chrome. Chrome, but it still looks like douche chrome to me. It's a difference. The louder you. Anyway, here's what Polaroid had to say. Add a different kind of beauty to abstract, portrait, and architectural photography with our bold electric green douche chrome on black frame. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. It's certainly not for everyone. Striking and challenging, it's for those of us who see the world a little differently. <laughs> <laughs> they also go on to say, because of the extreme experimental nature of the product, we cannot guarantee stable results. Therefore, we sell this product at a reduced price. We do not accept refunds related to defects or faults of any kind. Like zero douchebags. At least they're not being douches about it. Honestly, I don't think this film is new because didn't Marilyn Manson actually use it for the cover of Smells Like Children? Of which the first time I read the CD cover, I thought it said Smells Like Chlorine. <laughs> You know, my eyes are bad. Now, if you're ready to waste $14.99, head on over to Polaroid's website and add some douche chrome to your bag today. Hello? Oh, it's impossible. You're gonna sue me for calling it douche chrome? Yeah. I have bad eyes. That's my defense. Next up, we got a few new Canon rumors for you, starting with Canon rumors saying that Canon will be releasing a smaller form factor RF mount crop sensor camera in response to Nikon's Z30, as well as Sony's ZV-E10. They claim it might be called the EOS R100 or a body that is similar to the EOS M6 Mark II, which didn't have a built-in EVF viewfinder, but one could be added later. That camera was actually pretty solid. It had amazing autofocus, the ability to have an EVF or not have an EVF, but the only issue was the M mount. It seems as if every company wants a piece of that content creator pie. Now with that being said, are there more people wanting to be content creators today versus when Casey Neistat was blowing up a few years ago? And I actually think the answer to that is, is yes. You know, TikTok. And money, money don't jiggle, 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 it folds. So I like to take you to my Alfa Romero, it drives. Anyway, I do want to offer a warning to any wannabe content creators. This shit's not easy. Get ready to work your ass off, and even then, you may not succeed. I wonder why we even try. Now, I'm not telling you not to try, just know very few people will succeed, and that's just the reality. Try. So don't get upset with me for saying it and go crying to your mommy or daddy. No, no, to mommies. Or mommy and mommy, or daddy and daddy. Whatever. The second rumor is that Canon might have an R7C on the way, but not in 2022, but sometime in 2023. And I call bullshit on this one. Why would an R7C be needed? Why would Canon waste resources on something like that? I kind of get the R5C, but not this at all. Anyway, Canon rumors claims the R5C would record 7K 60P in cinema raw light and have the same codec options as the cinema EOS cameras, including that of the R5C. Now, I reached out to Roberta L for comment, and here's how that phone call went. Hello, Roberta L? Oh, what is that? I, I think she's getting married. Dearly beloved. I wonder to who? I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I think that this makes absolute zero sense, especially being that the R7 was just announced. Why would Canon do something like this? 
Money. If you have any ideas, let me know down below. Money, 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 money. And finally, Nikon's done it once again. And by it, I mean they've updated the firmware to the Nikon Z9. This time around, Nikon's dropped. Yeah, like, like they were gonna update the firmware to the Sony A1, Jared. Why did I need to say the Nikon Z9? I'm talking about Nikon. Use common sense, you douche. That's the proper case use of the word douche. This time around, Nikon's dropping firmware 2.10. 2.10 adds a feature that both Sony and Canon currently already have, and that's variable shutter speeds. Now, for those of you who don't know what that is, let me quickly explain. In situations where there might be a lot of flickering light and your regular one-third increment shutter speeds are picking up that flicker, you now have the ability to dial in more precise increments like 1 840th.5 four fourth of a second. Basically, you can now find a shutter speed that cancels out that flicker. That was one of the first feature requests I sent back to Nikon the first time I used the Z9. The second update is AF performance has also been further improved, notably increasing AF tracking performance with small subjects, those that take up very small portions of the frame. So better for dick pics, I guess. As well as focus accuracy when eye slash face detection AF is used with continuous servo AF. F. I certainly hope the second part of that statement is true because I shouldn't have to be shooting sports or baseball in dynamic area AF, AKA the mode that I used to use when I had DSLRs. I respect that, but that's the past. Because now that we have IAF, that is really the mode you should be shooting at all times when shooting photos. And by all times, there's always exceptions. So don't yell at me down below like, oh, you don't need it in this time, Jared, and you said all. It's a rhetorical thing, all. Anyway, I guess it's time to update that firmware and head back out to the baseball field. And there you have it, that's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that's where I'm gonna leave it. Jared, Poland Photo.com. See ya.